Okay, I wanted to just share with you uh, just some quick thoughts about another application of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. That's a stochastic matrix. So a stochastic matrix describes a situation where y you have different states or conditions the system can be in, and there's a certain probability over some period of time that the system will transition from one state to the other. So, for example, um, if you had a a house with three rooms in it and a mouse could jump between the rooms and if it's in room one it could it has a 10 percent chance of staying in room one a 50 percent chance of jumping to room two and a 40 percent chance of jumping to room three but if it's in room two it has a 20 percent chance of going to room one a 30 percent chance of staying in room two and a 50 percent chance of going to room three and if it's in room 3, it has a 30% chance of going to room 1, a 60% chance of going to room 2, and a 10% chance of staying in room 3. This would be a transition matrix that would describe that situation. And then the idea is you could, you could start the mouse or start the system out in one of those states. The mouse is in room 1, say. Or you could just distribute the probability of being in the different states randomly. So it, does, it turns out it doesn't really matter how you start the system. Because to calculate the probability distribution after one iteration, you simply dot this matrix. You multiply this matrix by the current probability distribution vector. Okay. Oh, by the way, this is just normalizing the probability distribution so that they add up to 1. The probability of being in any of the three conditions has to add up to 1, and so this just enforces that. So I calculate it, I just take t dotted into the initial probability distribution, and I get the probability distribution after one uh, iteration. I just do it again, I get the probability distribution after two iterations. I do it again, I get the probability distribution after three iterations. And I want you to notice that, you know, I started out with just a ran literally, I used the random number generator to generate a random distribution of probabilities, and I ended up here. I want, I want to just keep doing this, so I just write a loop that just does that a hundred times. So let's see what happens. You'll notice that the probability distribution after a hundred iterations is basically the same, almost the same, very nearly the same as it was after only three. So it doesn't take very many iterations to reach a steady state distribution of probabilities. It turns out this is how the Google PageRank algorithm works. You calculate the number of links that link from one page to another, you, use, you represent that as a probability. You just assume that the internet users are just randomly clicking links on pages, and the page rank of a page is just the probability that somebody lands on that page. So it's the probability that you're going to get to that page if you, if you keep looking. Okay? So it's, it's a measure. So in some sense, a measure of the value of a page is the number of people that link to that page, because that's what determines the likelihood someone's going to end up there by clicking on links randomly. But anyway, um, you can also just evaluate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of that transition matrix. And it turns out uh, all stochastic matrices have a maximum eigenvalue of 1. You're guaranteed to have at least one eigenvalue of 1. And all the other eigenvalues are going to be less than 1. So one of them will be 1, and the others will be less than 1. And uh, if you look at the eigenvectors that correspond to the, the eigen, here's the eigenvalue of 1. Sure enough, there it is. These guys all have magnitudes less than 1. They turn out to be negative. Um, but look at the value of the uh, eigenvector whose eigenvalue is 1. Well, actually, don't look at it yet, because remember, these guys are normalized, so that the sum of the squares is equal to 1, but we need to look at it as a probability distribution, so we've got to add these guys up and divide by that. So if you add these guys up, you get this number. If you divide by that number, you get this number. So this is the actual probability normalized eigenvector. But looky here, that guy and that guy are identical. This guy and this guy are identical. And finally, that guy and that guy are identical. So the eigenvector, normalized as a probability, of whose eigenvalue is 1 of the transition matrix turns out to be exactly the same as the steady state probability distribution that you'd wind up with. And there's a very simple reason why that's true. I want you to think about it, though, before I tell you. 
and then maybe we'll have another video sometime where we talk about that. Okay, so anyway, if you want to do a stochastic matrix problem, a page rank algorithm problem, or something dealing with uh, probability evolving over time, um, and use the eigenvector and eigenvalue technique to analyze that, um, that's also a perfectly good uh, project for uh, Project 10.